When we are on the road shooting Crime Watch Daily, we come across some pretty crazy stories. And the tale of Tim McDonald is certainly right at the top of that list. You see, Tim found love where you would least expect it. And how he showed his affection? Well, it's strange, to say the least. Andrea Isom has the story. This spooky old house in Huntington, Tennessee, sits at the intersection of mysterious and bizarre. People think I'm crazy. Tim McDonald, a retired airline pilot, bought this place back in 2002, just before he got married for a second time. This is the uh, 1893 Victorian mansion. I had envisioned living here with a big family. As it turned out, I lived here alone. Well, not completely alone. This has been the lady of the house for the last 13 years. This is the feminine presence in the house. She occupied the front room, and because she's big enough, uh, she filled the room. I, I, was, uh, I was very pleased to just leave her there and say, well, that's the feminine element, and that's as close as I'm going to get to being married. <laughs> McDonald's dummy bride has been the stand-in for his real-life second wife, Teresa Dion Harris. Harris is locked up in prison for felony murder. And neighbors were not happy when they found out her new husband was living next door. They were very angry at me for... They were angry because I married Dion because I made her happy. The intention of sending somebody to prison is to punish them and make them unhappy. And I was doing something to make her happy and they were very unhappy about that, so they took revenge on me by throwing a rock through the window and knocking over the mannequin. Well, that, however, the mannequin survived, so did I, so we're still here. Teresa Dion Harris never wore the beaded bridal gown. Harris was draped in prison blues when Tim McDonald married her behind bars. She and two men were convicted for a murder, stemming from a late-night drug-fueled carjacking on a lonely highway in 1993. To this day, it's still called the most heinous, grisly crime in the history of Carroll County, Tennessee. The 19-year-old murder victim was shot in the head, dismembered, and his heart was cut out. Harris told the television show Taboo, behind bars is where she belongs. I deserve to be in prison. A man lost his life simply because I was there. I, I think one day that I should be able to get out and be a part of society again. Most husbands want a woman in their house. Uh, quite often, I mean, most husbands want a woman in the bedroom. Uh, yes, of course I wanted that, but you have a choice. Would you rather have a woman in your house that you do not love or a woman in a prison that you do love? McDonald met his second wife on a prison pen pal website. He's never even kissed her. No, I never had sex with her. Uh, we were never allowed to cohabitate any matter. Oh, we, were ne we never had anything more than hand holding and a hug at the end of a visit. But this former airline pilot's devotion borders on the bazaar. It doesn't stop with a mannequin bride. He installed a prison sink commode combo in his bedroom, like the one Harris uses in her cell. And I thought that if I got this, it would give me some feeling of how she lived. You can replicate a prisoner's cell, you can replicate a prisoner's living conditions, but if you have the key to the door, it is not the same. And this never, uh, this never connected me the way I thought it would. The connection between Tim McDonald and his second wife began to fail at many levels. Harris is sentenced to life in prison without parole. But as it turns out, the McDonald's marriage was not a life sentence. After 10 long and lonely years, Tim filed for divorce. Her life in prison had stagnated, and I guess I'd say the marriage stagnated. Uh, she was not making a serious effort to get out, and she had grounds. She had very good grounds to uh, appeal her uh, conviction, and uh, she wasn't doing it. Tim, now 70, is still the hopeless romantic looking to find love. He even wants to get married again under one condition. His new bride has to also have prison in her past. 
But here's the really weird part. Tim wants his second wife to set him up. I said, Dan, find me a woman uh, either getting out of prison or a child of a prisoner, and I'll get married again. And I said, frankly, I'll take a, I'll take a fixer upper. I'll take a project. She smiled and said, I'm very happy to do that. For once, I'm essential to you. <laughs> and what about that wedding dress that's never been worn? I don't know what's going to happen to the dress. I'm very curious about that. I have not broached the subject that, well, Dion, if you come up with this girl and, and you're going to have to approve her, are you going to let her wear the dress if she wants to? I don't know. She'd have to be size eight or smaller anyway. <laughs> love is an interesting thing, that's for sure. And Tim isn't alone in finding love behind bars. In recent years, several websites like meetaninmate.com have popped up that allow inmates a chance to meet people from the outside world and start up a romance.